Hey, what's good, y'all? I'm Exact Prolific, and as I said before, beefing season is officially here. You know, forget cuffing season. That's old. Beefing season is officially here in hip hop, and you know, uh, more so pertaining to Ghostface Killer and Martin uh, Shkreli. Uh, basically, with him, Martin Shkreli is the uh, guy who bought the two million dollar <coughs> Wu Tang CD. You know, it was a, an, an auction, and he was the highest bidder for it bought it for you know two million dollars uh which was of course a sweet and quick come up for the rule they didn't have to worry about selling units they just sold one unit and made two mil uh and you know the crazy thing about it is that you would think the Wu would be you know extremely grateful of the guy that bought the album but you know it seems like they have nothing but you know, venom to spit at this guy and just bad words for him. And, you know, it's like, unfortunately, shortly after he bought the CD, he was labeled the most hated man in America. Um, and that was because he raised the price of AIDS medicine from $13 a pill to $750 a pill. So, uh, pretty much, let me get this straight. No, 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 no. He was labeled the most hated man in America before he bought the CD. The CD was purchased anonymously for a little bit. Nobody knew who bought it. They just knew it was purchased. And then it came out. It was Martin Shkreli, who was also known as the most hated man in America for that AIDS pill price rise. Anyway, uh, because he made a comment on Ghostface Killer uh, beefing with uh, Action Bronson, because he made a comment on that, Ghostface Killer made, you know, uh, some comments on on the dude that bought the CD. You know, this is how he refers to him. He he was talking about him saying that he was the Michael Jackson nose kid, <laughs> and he said that you know this is starting to get into some weird Albanian shit. <laughs> That's what uh, Ghostface said. And Martin Shkreli came back online after hearing those comments and said, you know, if Ghost Pe if Ghostface thinks he can make people appear, what the fuck you think I can do? I'll fucking snap the CD in fucking half. In so many words, uh, on TV and not even listen to it. You know, so, you know, it, it's just so interesting to me. Then he goes on to say that, you know, uh, don't cry, ghost. All rappers' careers come to an end eventually. And then he also said that uh, Method Man was uh, his favorite Wu-Tang Wu member anyway. And, you know, this is all after a quick little beef that he had with RZA, you know, going back and forth with RZA, calling, calling RZA arrogant, saying that he can't believe RZA was, you know, speaking speaking badly about his name after he spent $2 million on them, saying that if I spent that kind of money with y'all, y'all should at least show me some kind of respect. What can I say? I mean, beef and season is here. Anyway, leave a comment in the box below what you think about everything. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter. And uh, you can download the new podcast episode. And for you rappers, you can um, find that we got Hip Hop Instrumentals. You can find all those links down below. You can click those links. I'll talk to you later.